outside, underneath all the stars. Had a world of concrete jungles, no suburbia. I just want somewhere that the blue skies are. So come with me to a place so far where the palm trees dance and sway. So run with me if we leave right now. We might make it in time. The sunset is fading, but the light's not gone. The ocean waves have just begun. The water is calling, the night is young. So we. Morning, everybody. It is currently 6:30, and today I decided I want to take you through a morning in my life. I know on this channel I have done a lot of day in the life, week in the life content, um, but don't really dive too much in to my morning routine and kind of what I believe sets me up to be so productive throughout the day. And I, I really do think waking up early is. A superpower especially when you have a hectic job and lifestyle things come up inevitably and you have to be pretty dynamic but for me with all the responsibilities i have it's that's held me back in the past because i have the youtube channel the gmat all these other things i want to get done sometimes i say no i'm not going to be spontaneous i need to go home and get work done or if i'm working late I'll just forego the other work altogether. That's why it is so important for me to wake up early, just because that's the one part of my day that I truly do have control over. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through just exactly what I do during that time. And if this is your first time on my channel, then hey, my name is Cameron Galbraith. I'm a finance professional here in New York City. I make tons of content about my life and careers and business in general. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss a video. Okay, so with that said, I want to talk through what I actually did this morning. All right, before we get to the rest of the video, I want to talk about the sponsor of this vlog, UPDF. UPDF is a cutting edge tool that'll streamline your PDF review process. Not only does UPDF let you edit, manage, and secure your PDFs with ease, but it also leverages the power of AI to transform how you interact with your PDFs. Powered by GPT-4, UPDF AI lets you summarize, translate, explain, rewrite, and so much more with your PDFs. I think UPDF is especially helpful for us finance professionals who are constantly digging through huge documents trying to find information. UPDF AI UPDF makes this also comes process. with process. You can quickly ask for summaries of paragraphs and find relevant numbers. UPDF also has optical character recognition, which is a technology that can identify text within a digital image and then edit it from that image. Plus, you can get started with UPDF for free, but I do recommend the paid version, which allows you to unlock the full power of AI. And don't worry, it still costs less than all of the other guys. With that, check out the link down below in the description and in the comments, and let's get back to the video. This morning I woke up at 5.30. This has been something I, I used to do a little bit more when I was more in the trenches with my GMAT studying, but I've kind of taken my foot off the gas the last few months, but I want to get back into it. So woke up at 5.30. It, it's easier now than it was in the winter just because it gets light uh, so early here now. I mean, it's 6.30, but it's been light outside for the last 45 minutes. So it definitely makes it easier than waking up in the pitch dark. Uh, but yeah, woke up nice and early, right at the alarm, which is always a good feeling. And then something that I've been doing lately um, that I also want to get back into is just some gratitude journaling. So that is what you saw, kind of that first thing that I was doing. I was just writing down something that I'm grateful for, something that I want to focus on. I write down a highlight from the day before. And then something that I want to let go of. Um, I think it's just a really good exercise to keep me, keep me grounded and to keep me aware of all of the blessings that I have in my life because there are plenty. Um, so started the day with that. And then I had a lot of emails actually that I wanted to get to just kind of some YouTube partnership stuff. Um, so all easy things to reply to, but just again, got through that inbox before getting into my GMAT 
studying. So I mentioned it in one of my last vlogs, but I've been working with Isaac from GMAT Strategy on kind of crafting a new approach to studying for the GMAT. So he kind of walked through what he suggested for me based off of my experiences and my time. Honestly, that was the big part of the conversation is saying, I don't want this to be my top priority. I don't want this stressing me out. I don't want to have to work on this for two hours every day, uh, just because of all the other responsibilities I have in my life. So he was super understanding of that and kind of grafted a plan for me um, that is aligned with my goals, which I really appreciate. So what that required um, was just about 45 minutes this morning. So a nice balance. Um, and yeah, it's been going well so far. I've, I feel a lot better about it. I think it's a much more sustainable approach, which I appreciate because in the past, I was always kind of getting stressed out about the workload and making sure I got everything done. And at times I was focused more so on getting things done than actually doing them correctly. And that is not the right approach. All right. So now that I have the GMAT and some of the administrative stuff done for the day, it's now time to go to the gym. This has been another area of my life that I have really tried to prioritize because it's one of those things that if I don't get it done in the morning, it kind of doesn't stress me out, but you know, during the day of work, I'm always thinking about kind of the opportunity costs of working out after work, uh, just because there's only so many hours in the day. And so if I'm spending an hour working out, 30 minutes showering, all of that, that's taking time away from other things I could do. Whereas if I work out in the morning, there's really only so much. Um, so I always try to get my workouts in, in the morning. I'm fortunate to have the gym downstairs in my building, which makes it super easy. I really have no excuse. Um, surprisingly, the gym is still relatively busy. Uh, early mornings, there's a lot of older people that live here and you know they probably all wake up at the crack of dawn. So it's always still pretty busy, but I will go down to the gym. Now today is going to be leg day, which is not always the most fun thing in the world. But yeah, from my experience working in finance, working in different demanding jobs, um, both here and in consulting, I always just found working out in the morning just made me feel so much better during the day because I knew I got done. I knew I had gotten the hardest part of the day done. Um, and again, you just, you feel good throughout the rest of the day. And granted my workouts aren't the longest. They're not the most intense. I'm not training to be a bodybuilder. I'm just training for, you know, my own physical uh, appearance and health. So I can get everything done. I need to get done in, in less than 45 minutes. Obviously, if it's a two-hour workout, that might be a little bit tougher, but for my situation, it works out just great. So with that said, it is time to head downstairs. downstairs legs fortunately never takes that long so I was able to come back up here get showered and cleaned up trim the beard up and pick out my outfit for today uh, this weekend is Memorial Day one day is technically Memorial Day as well as my birthday um, so I wanted to be relatively festive um, for the holiday season quote unquote um, it also is getting really warm here in New York and so wearing a button down can get kind of hot. So on a Thursday, it's a little bit more casual, it's about to be a long weekend, I figured I could get away with a nice uh, golf polo. So shout out to 
golf club of the Everglades out in Naples, but I also was able to make myself a solid breakfast. I love just an egg and cheese, a sandwich on a bagel, all courtesy of Trader Joe's. It really only takes me a few minutes to make, and honestly, it tastes pretty premium. Um, doesn't beat the New York bagels that I can get, but it is still pretty solid. I also had a protein shake after working out, so that got a good amount of nutrients in me as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the morning routine. This is kind of a, a very typical day for me. Um, I would love to be able to wake up at 5.30 every single day. It, it's not as much of a norm as I would like, uh, but it is what I always aspire to. Uh, this isn't something I just did um, in terms of the journaling and going to the gym and all this stuff just for the sake of the video. Um, that is what I do when I wake up and, and have the time and I am getting better at it, more consistent, um, watching a lot of videos, just understanding how my body works, just to make sure that I can get up at 5.30, get to work, um, and make it a great morning, because the morning really, depending on how you start your day, it, it, I feel that it dictates so much else in the day. And what I've experienced is, you know, if you sleep through a few alarms and you wake up late, you're gonna start the day on kind of a bad note. And you already start, started the day with an L, um, for lack of better terms. And that kind of hurts your confidence. Whereas if you wake up right at 5.30, you get into whatever it is that you wanted to get into, and you just get so much done, it, it kind of just creates that momentum um, and that inertia for the rest of the day. Um, so that's how I always feel, and I just I love a good productive morning it makes me feel so much better um, to go crush a day of work. So yeah, I really appreciate you all for coming along for the ride. I would love to hear what you guys do in your mornings. Is there anything that I'm missing out on that has been beneficial for you? Leave a comment down below. Would love to see your feedback. As always, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the content and connect with me on LinkedIn so we can stay in touch. And I will see you in the next video.